Hey there. This, oopsies, put that there. Is video number two on this worksheet. In class, the plan was that you would go through and just figure out what type of question it was. Was it permutation? Was it combination? Was it a fundamental counting principle? Was it a mixture of a whole bunch? And I said, good job, but I didn't have an answer key. So, as we told, I need an answer key and I thought, might as well videotape it. So this is again, video number two, and we're gonna start on question 11. And I am 95% sure that question 11 was also in your notes. So we'll just go through it pretty easy. In a train yard, there are four tank cars, 12 box cars and seven flat cars. How many ways can a train made, made up consisting of two tank cars, five box cars and three flat cars? One of the things I've learned is if it's got, you're, you're taking some from this set and another set and another set, that's often is gonna be combinations. And to me, that's a hint. This is a combinations from several sets, which also is fundamental counting principle. Okay, so question 11. Oh, if I do this right. No, nope. oh wait, I can do this. There, you can still see the question. All right, so first I have to choose my tank cars, and then I'm gonna choose my box cars and then I'm gonna choose my flat cars. Now, there are four tank cars and I have to pick two. So four, choose two. Now from box cars, I have 12 box cars and I gotta choose five. And for my flat cars, there are seven flat cars and I gotta choose three. And ta-da. And the beautiful thing, this is not the thing. Recognize the tag. I was at Value Village last night and I bought myself a calculator. Just for the videos. Where are we? So there's no glare. Okay. There we go. The nice part about this for, uh oh, where is it? Choose two. I like that it shows up in the display. The one I was using before didn't have the C in there and it just made me crazy. Times. Oops. F. Choose five. Times. Seven. Choose three. There we go. 1,006. Nope. 166,320. Ta da. I like it because we can put all of it into the calculator all at once and it just comes out. That's why I make sure that everybody has a calculator that's got um, permutations, but permutations and combinations in it. All right. Question 12. How many committees of two or ah, ah, four more people can be formed from four people? All right. So less than, not more than, all of those almost always tell you you're gonna have to do cases. So what does that mean? So I have four people and two or more on the committee. So two is good. How about three? Yeah, three works. Or four. One? No. Right? So that's the part about the or more that gives me a hint there's going to be cases. More than one answer. So for two people, we just, a committee, a committee is a simple one. That's combinations like boom, that word committee screams combinations. Because when you're a committee, you're not like you're the president, the vice president or something. You're just on the committee and you're working as a group. So you're supposed to be all equal. 
So this is gonna be four choose two. And then if I want three people on the committee, it's gonna be three choose two. And yeah, you already know. So let's do this. There we go. So we're gonna go four and on my calculator, the choose is here. It's on the back, so I'm gonna have to use shift. Two, that's gonna give me six, three, choose two, two, three, whoops. No, 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 no. Were you yelling at me a minute ago? You should have. There's still four people. I had those. I'm not sure what I was saying because I have it all set up here. Okay, four people choose two. Four people choose three. Four people choose four. There, that's better. All right, four choose three should be um, four. Yeah. Because instead of choosing three people, I could just pick the person I'm not choosing. And four choose four is one, because I'm choosing everybody. So grand total here, six and four and one is 11 committees. Ooh. All right. Number 13. Yep. Oh, I can do it this way now. Let me... All right, the State Narcotics Bureau must form a five member investigation team. It has 25 agents to choose from. How many different possible teams can be formed? Okay, so I'm gonna think of a team as the same as a committee. There is no hint at all that order is gonna matter or people are gonna have different positions. So we're gonna start with that. So there's 25 people and we have to choose or pick five. That's it. No. Oh, that's what I get with new calculator. There we go, five. There's a lot of possibilities. 53,000, 130. There we go, 14. A coin is tossed eight times. How many different outcomes are there? Hmm. Well, not arranging anything. I'm not having to choose stuff. It's our friend, the fundamental counting principle. And I am tossing a coin eight times. So I gotta do something eight times. And when I toss my coin, there are two. I'm lazy, I'm not going all the way up to eight, but you get the idea, so there's each of the tosses. And the first toss, it's either heads or tails. That's two, and two, 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 two. I wanna say that's 258, but I'm not sure. Oh, a little math moment for you. For this case. You could go two times two times two times two. I'm too lazy to do that. I'm gonna go two, there we go. And I'm gonna use my exponent or um, yeah, exponent button, which on this one is a carrot and eight. And ta-da, it was a good day. I got right, 256. So I could get heads, 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 heads. I get heads, 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 tails. Not doing it, but there's 256 different fun variations of that. All right, question 15. The call letters of a radio station must have four letters. 
First letter must be a K or a W. How many different stations? Okay, we've got restrictions going on. So that is telling me fundamental counting principle. One, two, three, four. My first letter has to be a K or a W. So that's two choices. And then it says, how many different stations can be made if repetition is not allowed? So repetition, or sorry, restrictions come first. Let me make this up higher, there we go. So I've used one letter up. There are 26 letters in the alphabet. So I've used one, so that leaves me 25. And because there's no repetition allowed, it's gonna be 24 and 23. And there really is no fast, pretty way to do that. And then just straight multiply it out. 27,600. All right, so that's A, please. And then B says if repetition is allowed. So there's no repetition. Is with repetition, I'm still getting four call letters. First one is either a K or W, so that's two. But because repetition is allowed, I could have a call sign of W, 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 or K, 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 K. You get the idea. So then I can choose anything. So 26, 26, 26. Okay, now I'm making up my own question. I'll write it down. I want you to try it out. How many stations? Uh, at least one letter repeated. Okay, pause the video, think about that. Any question? So, not even 100% sure how I would do this with cases. I just know it would be a lot of work. See, I did it again, no repetition, all of my choices. So there's 35,152 different groups I can have. Some of those, these will be repeats. Some of them will have no repeats. And I take this group. So no repeats, you know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna subtract. which means there's 7,552 with at least one letter repeating. Okay, I'm gonna pass up. I looked at that answer. I paused the video. You're probably clever enough to figure out that because um, this didn't seem right. And I'm just going to get rid of the question because my theory here, I forgot to deal with the two in front. So we're just going to not make up questions in the middle of a video anymore. So if I knew how to edit, I would take it up, but I don't. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.